then we'll take it from there. So my name is Matamera, so I'm going to be helping you guys today with a QMI and then we were supposed to do mathematical mathematics of financing, but due to assignment two, because many of the students haven't done assignment two, so I'm going to do things that uh, they will cover on assignment two, like it's going to help you guys to be able to answer those questions. So we're going to do those. Uh, we wanna do those. We'll do those uh, lessons. So let me just quickly open something, then you will be able to see my screen. Okay, I'm gonna accept those students who are entering now. All right. Okay. So now you will be able to see my screen. So let me just accept them quickly. So just be advised that this class is going to be recorded. And when we are in our lesson, you can ask any questions. Then I will be able to respond to you. If you don't understand anything that we are doing, you can ask those questions. Then I will be able to, I will under, I will answer, respond to you. I will answer you guys. And then let's me just, we're gonna start right now. Okay, it's four minutes past. So after one minute, we are starting. We have taken five minutes. We're supposed to be starting at exactly 3 p.m. All right. So we're going to start now. All right, I will have to deal with this of accepting today. So let's proceed. So we're going to, we were supposed to be doing a uh, mathematical fi financing, but the problem part is that uh, your assignment two, it won't be covering that. So I've decided that I must do what uh, your assignment two is going to be covering. So guys, uh, those who are late, they will forgive me. I have to start with my with the lesson so we already have some previous uh, lesson for these chapters if you will need the videos they're available so uh, we're going to start with the units units and measurements so units and measurement so we're going to start now with length and area with uh, area and the volume then we're going to go to si unit si units is about the like converting from meter to kilometer from millimeter to kilometer so guys those who are late they will have to forgive me because i have to start teaching i won't be accepting i was supposed to be that we we're supposed to be done by now so and um, we're gonna start with the area so what is an area so when this um in this module or in mathematics we have different types of uh, shapes. So when we have different types of shapes, some of the shapes they have like uh, you can they are named. But before we go to the area, let's start with a perimeter, something called a perimeter. So what is a perimeter? Okay, let me adjust my 
hand properly because I'm not at my place today. I'm in at Yonisa main campus. Okay, parameter. Okay, give me one minute. I will be with you guys. So I will be using a uh, sum of like not writing too much when it comes to writing. So we're going to be talking about the parameter of a parameter. So when we talk about parameter, so parameter is about uh, if you have a stand, let's say this is your stand. Let's assume this is your Sorry, stand. Sir. Hello? Sorry, sir. are we supposed to see something on the screen? Yes, you are, you are supposed to see something on the screen. Can't you see what I'm writing on the screen? No, it's blank. Okay, let me just redo it again. And you will have to be able to see what I'm writing. Can you see what the board, the whiteboard? Yes. All right, which means now we are fine. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is parameter. is parameter so parameter what is parameter so parameter is when you have a let's say a, your stand at home let me just draw it here it can be something like this this is i'm not good with drawing guys so drawing is bad so if you stand here from here to this side let's assume that is five centimeter five meter and then from here this going this side to the let's assume that is seven meter and then here i'm just gonna write eight meter eight meter and then let's assume this is four meter let's assume that it's not really like a it's not really in scale so when we talk about the parameter parameter is when you add all the side so when you add all the side those who are late Okay, admit. So when we talk about the perimeter, perimeter is about adding. We're going to add from, if you are starting here, you if you are starting from this point, you're going to add from there, this one and this one and this one. So when you add them, which means here, you're going to say is five plus, it's going to be seven plus, it's going to be 4 plus 8. So when we add them, is this is going to give us, it's going to give us a, is this is going to give us 5 plus 7, it's going to be 12 plus 4, 16 plus 8, 24. So which means you will have 24 meter. So this is when you are calculating for a parameter. So we have, things like a we have things like a square yeah? a square both sides they are equal so if let's assume this is a square all right which means i will have to like yes like small like that and this way so square all the side they are equal when it's a square which means here if it's one this one is going to be one and it's going to be one it's going to be one so when you calculate a perimeter of a square so the perimeter of a square is equal to, you add all these lengths. This, let's assume that is L, L, yeah, not 1, 1, L, L. So which means you're going to say L plus L plus L plus L. So when you add them, it's going to be 4 equals to 4L. So this 4L, it means that we added all this side for the square, this is for this square. And then for, we also have a rectangle. So for a rectangle, for a rectangle,
for a rectangle only two sides are equal in a rectangle so which means when we say two sides are equal only two parallel sides are equal so as i've said guys don't mind my drawing i'm not gonna be perfect on this drawing so some of the line they will be fine so if here is five in rectangle the parallel line is going to be this one this line here which i didn't draw perfectly but in your books there when you check in your study guide you will see a very proper a very good rectangle but it's just that i'm not drawing it well because i'm not sitting in my desk where i normally teach so if this is five here even here is going to be even here is going to be five okay you can mute your mic né? the one who have mute. yeah you can mute your mic if that side is five even here is gonna be five if here is five okay let me just erase this and try to be fine to adjust quickly i should have done my practice here so if here is five even this idea is going to be five if here is one this other side also is going to be one so which means the right rectangle is going to be equal two sides which are parallel they are going to be equal so when you add them it's still the same for the parameter you're going to add this side plus this side plus this side plus this side so let's assume this side here the horizontal line is l and then let's assume this one is b so which means i'm going because of obviously speaking this one also is going to be b and this one is also going to be l so which means you're going to say l plus l plus b plus b so now when we have this you will see that we have 2 l plus 2 plus 2 b 2 b plus 2 b so now if we have to if we have to write it we can even summarize we can take two outside there if we have to factorize we can factorize you use a brackets can you move your mic please uh, can you mute your mic hello okay please mute your mic or i will remove or i will i will remove you in the class and eh? i just will yeah. mm. let me let me remove here quickly Mohari, please mute your mic or i will remove you quickly all right so it's gonna you can add you can factorize there then it's gonna be 2l is gonna be 2l then you're gonna use a brackets 2 then you're gonna put a brackets there 2l then it's gonna be l plus b then we put another bracket is that that today my handwriting is really 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 bad two in brackets l plus b so but i'm gonna show you what i mean in your study guide so in your study guide here what we are talking about is in chapter uh, 90 is in 98 but i will put 110 there so in a good writing way as you can see let me go yeah this is what we are talking about so this is a perimeter of a square of a rectangle so the perimeter of a rectangle you will see that when you they are using l and w so this side here is also going to be what the other side is also going to be w and the other side is also going to be l so when you write that you're going to add them the way it is there and then you're going to get 2l plus w which is you can put them in brackets and you will have this answer so this formula 
So you can use this formula for rectangle. So I'm not sure if they've showed you, but I already showed you about the square. So you also saw about the square and I also showed you guys about any formula, like if you're gonna be using any formula, like any box. So you can also use any box. When I say you can use any box, I mean if you have any shapeless, you can have a shape whereby, let me try also to draw another shape that I'm talking about. You can find that you are having this shape like this way, it goes up, it goes like this, goes like this, then goes like this. So you have to find a, what you will have to find a parameter and they give you a value there. You just add those values. Maybe it's five, it's this a number, this is seven, this is four, maybe this is three here. Even if it's not three, this is two. So you can add those numbers. The only difference is that when you are working with a parameter of a cycle, a cycle, so when you're working with a parameter of a cycle, when you're working with a parameter of a cycle, let's say this is a cycle. So the parameter of a cycle is equals to the circumference of a cycle. So a cycle, it have a radius and it have a diameter. So radius, we call it R in a cycle. So the perimeter of this one, when you get a perimeter of a cycle, the perimeter of a cycle is equal to two pi R. Two pi R, two pi R. So this pi, that's the one that we wrote. The pi is equal to 3.14, is equal to three. 0.14 in your calculator. 3.14 in your calculator. So this is the pi for standing for that. So if you have to calculate, if they ask you to calculate the parameter of your of a cycle, remember it's two pi r, and r is a radius, and pi is equal to 3.14, and this radius there sometimes they can give you a diameter of a cycle. So a diameter of a cycle is from the starting point of a cycle up to the end point, so which means is diameter, we normally represent this as D. So D, this diameter is equal to, this diameter is equals to two pi, two R, is multiplied by, is two R, is two, is radius times two, is two R. So, which means if they give you 10, they say 10 is diameter. Remember that when you want to get, if we divide by two here, yeah, if you want to get the radius, which means your radius now is going to be equal to what? Diameter divided by two. So, which means if you have a, red, a diameter of 10, you divide this 10 by, you'll divide this 10 by two, then you're going to get five. You'll get five. Now that's the diameter, that's how to get the radius of a cycle. So the most important part is when you are calculating your perimeter, you must, you can, for cycle, you can use this formula. You can use that formula. Then let's proceed with, a, with the lesson four. Guys, I'm going to take this, I'm going to, I'm recording this video. But I'm not going to take it to my YouTube channel because I'm not writing properly. So I, it's not going to be on my YouTube because I normally upload a perfect things in my YouTube channel. So uh, we have spoke about the, the, uh, the perimeter. Now we're going to go to area. So area we have, as I've said, for area we have many types. So we're going to start with a square. Let's assume this is a square. Yeah, now I've managed, okay, yeah, I've managed to draw something. I told you that square, both that they are the same. So the area of a square is equal to, you. Is if it's L there, you're going to say L multiplied by L two times. Multiply by L. So which means it's going to be equals to L squared. L squared, if it's in meter, let's assume that 
we are measuring in meter or centimeter let's assume that is meter you can say meter squared so area is always in squared meter squared so the area of a square you just have to multiply they will give you one number that they will tell you that this is a square maybe they say it's four so which means you just say four times four then after that when you say four times four you're going to get 16. then if it's in meter you're going to say it's 16 meter what meter squared that's what you're going to say you're going to say it's 50, 16 meter squared that's how you calculate an area of a square it's very simple you all you know you just have to remember the formula so the area of a rectangle the area of a rectangle here if we have l and w is going to be l multiplied by w area of a rectangle is going to be equals to l gonna be l multiplied by w l multiply by what multiply by multiply by w so when you say l multiply by w you can be having three here and two there let's assume it's three and two so which means when you calculate your area of a rectangle it's going to be three multiplied by two let's assume it's in centimeter then it's going to be what six centimeter centimeter squared so that's how you will calculate that's how you calculate for that's how you calculate the area of a rectangle so when you know those formulas of calculating the area of a rectangle and a square then any question based on your on calculation of rect area you won't have a problem with it the only problem that you're going to have that we're going to solve is going to be conversion because sometimes they will give you a question even it's either in your exam or your assignment they will give you a question in this question they ask you to calculate the area of a rectangle of a rectangle they tell you that this is five this is five centimeter then here they write it that is two millimeter so obviously speaking you cannot come here and say area this is wrong ne? i will say this is not wrong i will just use it like not with that sign you cannot say it's five multiplied by two then you say equals to ten which unit are we going to use because we have two units there so the most important part this is when you will have to know how to convert to centimeter to millimeter so which means one of these must be equal to the you must convert them in such a way that they will be in the same unit when you say unit we mean it's either you will convert them in the same milli centimeter or they will be both in millimeter but the question sometimes they can tell you that when you write this area your area must be in terms of millimeter or your area must be in terms of centimeter so when you know conversion we're going to do conversion in a few minutes when you know conversion this which means you will first convert those two what the question says then after when you convert then you calculate your area it's just l multiplied by w so that's how simple it is when it comes to calculating the area. That's how simple it is when it comes to calculating the area. So the area also we have discussed the formula. Now I'm just giving you guys the formula. I've given you the formula of a rectangle. I've given you the formula for square. So now we're going to discuss about the area of a cycle cycle is something like this okay my drawing there is still going back but at least now i'm adapting in this environment the cycle oh, no that's not a cycle guys so i'm not gonna waste my time trying to write draw a accurate cycle but there is something that can help me it's just that i don't want to start checking that okay link to shape okay yeah that's good so that's a cycle so in this cycle there you will see that uh, if this cycle it will have what it will have a, a radius as i've said and you now know what is radius it's up to them from the starting to the middle of a cycle and then if you start from there up to there is a is diameter so when you calculate a when you want to calculate the area of a cycle so the area of a cycle 
is going to be equal to 2 pi r squared. It's 2 pi r squared. This is the formula to calculate the area of a cycle. So which means they will either trick you by giving you a radius. If they give you a radius, it's going to be simple because I already explained that pi is 3.14, but they might give you a diameter and check if you, you know that you have to divide by two in order for you to get what? A, a what? To get a radius. Let's assume that they tell you that the diameter is 10, is seven centimeter, seven centimeter. Then you have to calculate the area. So which means when I calculate my area, I'm going to say two pi multiplied by 3.14. Or if you are using your calculator, your calculator it have pi. You just have to press shift and closer to the equal sign, you will see this sign here of pi. Then we're going to multiply this by 7. 7, we're going to divide, okay, 7. We'll divide it by 2. Okay, 7. Let me increase small font. It's fine and... Then we're gonna divide by seven. Let's put brackets because I'm putting brackets because of I have to say seven over what over two squared. So sometimes you can say instead of seven over two like this way, you can calculate what is seven over two outside. Then you just substitute by this answer you get. Seven over two is going to be three four six. It's going to be three point. You're gonna be left with one there. Three point five. 3.5 you can just write instead of 7 over 2 you can just write 3.5 squared there so let me just use 3.5 but at least you understand what i have said then you can use your calculator to calculate this then you will get an answer i don't have i don't have a calculator with me so i don't have a calculator i work math without a calculator so but you guys you need a calculator you must have to you will have to use your calculator then it's going to give you the answer then you're going to get the area of this cycle. So that's how you get it. But sometimes they will give you direct. They tell you that you have a radius. So if you know the formula, which means you will be fine. With what? With a cycle and with a rectangle and with a square. So those three that I'm mentioning, those are the most one that you're going to be getting. So let's go straight to your study guide. We see how it is. Here you can read for yourself here. Yeah? You will see that this is about the area. They are showing you two dimension is L multiplied by W as I've said. And then you go for a square. You see they wrote with one. Then it's going to be one times one. You know that is going to be one times one millimeter. It's going to be one meter squared. And then let's see if they already told you about there. Yeah, they are just giving you an examples that you can do. It's very simple. You can read these examples. Then you do them. And then now they didn't really tell you much about the i don't see much about the cycle here yeah, but normally in your questions they will it will be there they will ask you a cycle about the cycle how are they going to construct a question based on this area so when they construct a question they will draw a rectangle they will draw a rectangle let's assume this is a rectangle then inside the rectangle they draw a cycle so I'm going to have those questions with you guys. When they draw a cycle, they will shade this place. Shading, they will shade, 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 shade. Let's assume this is shading. Then they say calculate the area of unshaded side of this shape. So which means when you calculate the area of unshaded side for this shape that we have, I have drawn here, then what you are going to do, you are going to first calculate the area of a cycle. Then you're going to calculate, the first thing you can calculate the area of a rectangle. All right, let me try to see them, okay. Then the first thing that will happen, you will have to first calculate the area of a rectangle, or you can first calculate the, it depends on you. When you calculate the area of a rectangle, then you calculate the area of a cycle. When you calculate the area of a cycle, then you will do it. Then you will subtract the area of a rectangle because we, needed, we need the area of unshaded side. So let's assume, I'm going to do it in a simple way, but I'm going to come with those questions. 
and then I'm going to come with those questions. You see, you got, you see them here when we are doing them. So let's assume here is five. I'm going to use five meter for now. And then here is three meter. And then let's assume from here the cycle, the radius of a cycle, let's assume is one, né? one meter. So the first thing what I'm saying when you do it, you will calculate. Let's first calculate area. I will start, I can start with an area of a cycle. I will just write something like that to show that is an area of a cycle. Area of a cycle is 2 pi, 2 pi r. r squared is going to be 2 pi only because it's going to say 1 squared. Then when we, this is pi guys, then when we calculate there, it's going to give us 2 pi. 2 pi. I will write it as 2 pi like that. Then I'm going to go and calculate area of what? I will calculate the area. I'll calculate the area of, of a rectangle. I will just write a box, small box to show that is for a rectangle. So when we calculate the area of a rectangle, rectangle, you know, is just L multiplied by B which is going to be 5 multiply by oh okay let me stop this shape thing mm -hmm. okay it's not deleting it is fine we won't waste our time there so let's assume that uh, the area of a rectangle is going to be 5. You will multiply, oh, didn't stop it. It's going to be 5. I will just rewrite it here. Okay, area of a rectangle is going to be 5 multiplied by 3. So 5 multiplied by 3. Is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to 15. So it's going to be 15 meter square. 15 meter square. So now when I have this, which means to get the area of unshaded side is going to the total. Normally the last one we write it as a total area, but I will just say A for now because the other ones I was just showing you guys with what? with a square. The total area, we're going to take the square, which is 15. Fifteen. Fifteen meter square. minus 2, we subtract by what? 2 pi. The answer that we got for the cycle, we subtract it by 2 pi. So if you use your calculator, you will get some values. Remember 2 pi is 3.5, 3.14. So this is the answer for the unshaded area. Because we have to only, the only shaded thing was only the cycle. So those are the questions that they will give you in QMI when you calculate. So when you check in your study guide, it's fine. They're asking nicely. I mean, in this one, yeah, they will be showing you these questions, how the blocks and this one, when they are showing you guys, they are showing you that if some, maybe if you see that if you are having this square, they remove this. So which means some, these are kind of questions that you must accept, but I will gather those questions for you. Then you see how you do them. So those are the things that you must know. So maybe before I proceed, if there is anyone here who wanna ask a question, feel free to ask any question based on what we did right now. If you have a question, you can ask me, then I'm gonna respond, respond back to you. I will respond to your question. Is there anyone who have a question? Based on what we did, maybe there is something that you didn't really understand, or maybe you want me to make it clear. And forgive me about my handwriting for today. 
as I've already mentioned. Anyone have a question? Yes. Okay, yeah, you can ask. May you please explain for me the difference between a radius and diameter on that side? All right, let me do that. Yeah. So I will draw a cycle, a very, uh, let me draw a very good cycle for now, where the shapes, it will be very big. I know this was, oh no, this is not a cycle. That's not a cycle. But let me try to draw it properly. Yeah, this is a cycle. So in a cycle, here there is a, it's a middle of a cycle. It's a middle of a cycle. It says not a middle, we call it a center of a cycle. So from the center of a cycle, to if I draw a line from this center of a cycle, I go this, let's say, let's assume it was straight there. It's not, it have to be straight because I'm using this other. Let's say I draw this line like that. Yeah, it's fine, it's better. So from the center of a cycle up to there, so that line, we call it radius. This is the line that we call it R. Is radius. If this line from here, if this line continue, ne, is it now? Do you understand the center from the center to the there? It can be anywhere in the cycle. It's called a radius. So if we add this line, we continue this line. It goes this side like this way. Let's say up to anywhere it touches, we call it diameter from here up to there. We call it diameter. A D. So that's a diameter. That's why when we say if you want to get the diameter of a cycle, you multiply radius by two because this from here to there is equal. And anywhere from here to there is equal to it's a radius. So they are equal. So when from here to there is diameter. So if you want to get a radius, if you are given diameter, it's like we are starting from here up to there. So if you divide if from here to there, in order for you to get the radius, you have to divide by two. You'll have to divide by two. So let's say, for example, the other thing that you must know, when we say circumference of a cycle, né? circumference of a cycle is when you are rounding. It's like from here, you can be starting from here, anywhere in the cycle, you are rounding. You see, up to there, you come back. That's a circumference of a cycle. So let me say something. In English, you have a bucket at home. Uh, when they ask you there, I don't know in your home language. Okay, let's say this is a bucket. There's some yeah, like a bucket there. You know it have a round a bucket. The way it have a round in English is called circumference. That's what it it means in English. So when we say circumference, we are meaning there in the bucket, the round, the round shape. That round shape in any bucket is a cycle. But that round in English is called circumference of a cycle. But in my own language, uh, I won't say it because you won't understand its vendor. So we're just going to take it. We're, gonna, we're just going to proceed with the lesson. So I hope you did understand. Uh, you are not, I hope now it's clear with you. Uh, is there anyone who have a question? Yes, I have a question. OK, you can ask. Uh, I wanted to know when you were calculating the total area, why did you subtract and not add? All right. So in that question there, let me take you back here. So let's assume, uh, just listen to what I'm saying because I'm not going to write a question down. I'm not going to write what I'm saying down. The question you are given this diagram, yeah, the one I've drawn here, this diagram, it has a rectangle and then inside this rectangle it's like you have a box inside the box there is a cycle there is a ball a cycle so that ball the, is shaded so because of we can't say there is a ball we are trying to say we shaded the cycle so we want to know the area of unshaded 
So this part here, this one here is shaded. Né? So the question says, calculate the area of unshaded in this shape, this complete shape. So the area of unshaded is here. Here where I'm rounding exactly here, there. Let me just use the, maybe you'll see it. You see, here where I'm rounding with my mouse here is with this, is the side is what we call it a, uh, and shaded. So the way we shaded is inside the ball. The ball is shaded. So when you want to calculate the area of unshaded area, un unshaded shape, so which means because this area of shaded is not needed, so we're going to first calculate the complete. If I calculate the area of a rectangle, it's everything there. Its area is from here to there. So we will have to calculate the area of this cycle again then we subtract it when we subtract it is then we are getting it's like subtracting we are taking out the ball out there we are removing it then we get when not really removing it won't be a good word then we're gonna be getting what we're gonna be getting the area of unshaded of unshaded side so we don't want the area of this only this shaded side so we only want that one so we have to subtract you cannot add because now when you add it's like it's gonna be more than the area of a rectangle. So that's why I subtracted there in that question. Is that clear with you? Yes, it's clear. All right, anyone? Okay, so if there is no one who have a question now, then let's proceed with our uh, we're gonna go to a volume. So volume. So when we talk about the volume, Volume is when we are calculating. Let me try to write with red. Now, yes, fine. Volume. So volume, we are calculating. It's like we are calculating. We are no longer calculating an area now. We're going to be calculating. Let me give you an example, a clear example before I represent about, I speak about volume. Let's say you have a bucket. This is your bucket. Then in this bucket here, you pour a water inside. So when you pour a water, sometimes you can pour water and it's gonna be, it will end maybe it's not, it won't be, it will be half like this way. Then there's an empty space without a water there. So when we want to calculate the volume, we can calculate how much water is there from there up to there. That's a volume. That's what that's what we are talking about a volume. So a volume is based on what a capacity is like with respect to capacity. It's like if you have a box now in a box, you know that when we draw a box, a box, we can draw it this way. Okay? It will have some other things there, there and there. So we can put something there. So let's assume this is a box of of a cell phone, a cell phone. Obviously speaking, you cannot go and take a pot and put it and it will fit in a box of a cell phone. So which means this one is gonna help you to understand that, okay, if you are designing a box, you will calculate a volume of a what, of, a, of your pot. Then after that, based on your volume, you can just increase a little bit when you design what when you design a box to put that pot inside so that it can fit so that's what we are talking about the volume so volume it like if the first one we have a square again now we are talking about the volume if this is a square you already know that in a square both sides they are equal so if the volume of a square remember it won't be like this way it will be like in this form this is a square this is a box, a box that both are equal. Then to calculate volume, volume is going to be L multiplied by L 
multiply by L if both sides is for the square. Remember, all sides they are equal. Né? That one you must remember. You're going to multiply it by L again. So, which means now the answer is going to be on L square cubic to the power three. And then if it's in meters, it's going to be meter cubic. That's a volume. So this is a volume of a what? Of a rectangle. Of a, not a rectangle, I mean a square. So if we have a rect, and now it's no longer called a square when we say when it's like a box. If it's a same set, they're equal and we are calculating the volume. We call it cubic or we call it, we call it a cubic or is it cubic or what? Something. There's another name there. I forgot it, but you can check it. It's, we call it cubic. Like S cube. When you say S cube, it's because of those things. If you check your S cube, they are designed in an equal side. Normally, more, many of them they are equal. Like they are the corners, everything. If you check, you will see that they are exactly equal. So this is a volume. It's L cubic M squared. So if you have three there, which means you are going to say three multiplied by three multiplied by three for the square, for the for cubic or for a square. I'm just using square so that you can understand, but I'm not supposed to use that word. So for a rectangle, we don't really say rectangle, it's rectangular prism. When we calculate a volume, so the rectangle, the way we draw it, let's assume they already drawn it there. This is a rectangle. You know that for a rectangle, for rectangle, we say L and W. Né? So now when we are calculating a volume, it will be having a height. We can say H there. So the volume of a rectangle is going to be called, it's going to be length, which is L, multiplied by W is width. Yeah, W-I-D-T-H. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to cope even though I'm not writing properly, but let me ignore as if I don't see it. Then, it's going to be L multiplied by W multiplied by H multiplied by height. This is a volume. So volume is always the unit of a volume. If it's centimeter, yeah, it's going to be in centimeter cubic. So let's assume it was two, three, and four. Né? So when you calculate the volume there, it's going to be equals to two multiplied by, let's assume that is in centimeter, multiplied by three, multiplied by four. Then, 2 times 3 is going to be 6. 6 times 4 is going to be 6 times 4 is going to be 24, right? Yes, I think so. It's going to be 24. So the answer will be 24 centimeter cubic. Remember that. It's going to be 4 centimeter cubic. 24 centimeter. Cubic. Cubic, yeah. So this is how you calculate the volume of a what of a rectangular prism or rectangle, but it's you must say rectangular. So that's how you calculate it. And to calculate the volume of a cycle, a cycle we no longer call it a cycle. A cycle it was only when you are like this way. A cycle is when you draw it in this format. This is a cycle. But when we extend to a bucket, something like a bucket, we call it a cylinder. So the question will say, calculate the volume of a cylinder. Normally, when you, you can check that in your books. So when we calculate the volume of a cylinder, now this there is like a box, it's like a, a bucket, which it have a height. If you see what I'm talking about, let me check if you can see. I have a cup of water here with me. You can see this cup. So what we are saying, it have what? This cup, it have the, it have a cycle the way I'm rounding. So sometimes you might find that this, it have this cycle here, and it's exactly equal to this cycle, but just that this one here is too small. Let's assume that is equal. So if I have to calculate, there is water here inside here. So if I have to calculate the volume of this, let's say it was full water, then there is a height, this line going up there from here up to there. This is what I'm talking about. This is called a height. So that height, there, as I've shown you using that cup, 
So we're going to say is H. So normally in your questions, they will be saying what? Calculate the volume of a, c a cylinder. So from here up to there, remember from here, you have asked that question from the center up to there is right, it's radius. So the volume of a cylinder is V equals to 2, not 2 pi, R squared H is 2 pi R squared H, 2 pi R squared H. So that's the volume of a, what? H is your height. They will give you the height. They will give you also the radius or they give you the diameter F I explained before. So let's go straight to your books, your study guide. This is your study guide. There they are showing you how to calculate the volume, three dimensions. Then this is a, a cubic. So you can maybe if you read here, they might write cubic or something. Something there you, you will read that you will find that name that I was talking about. So after that, you will show you that V is cost to L. OK, this one is for rectangular prism. Rectangular, as you can see that they even say rectangular. They no longer say rectangle. So if you check for this one. There, OK, they started with a rectangle It's fine. So this they are showing you that it must be in meter cubic or in centimeter cubic to the power three. So that's how it is for rectangle. They are giving you example. You can do this example when you understand that formula that I just wrote. Understand the formula It's very easy for you guys to do it to answer these questions. So you will see it when we are doing when we proceed with the questions. So if we pro, if we proceed again. They are still showing you guys how to answer those questions. You can see this one we haven't covered this to conversion to centimeter to the we're still going to do that. So in your study guide here. They are done. They only show you guys with one. I think they just showed you with a rectangle. They didn't show you with a cycle matter. They asked those questions. If you check, you will find those questions. They only show you guys with rectangle only for what for the cubic for the volume only that but it's fine so do you guys have any question based on what i've showed you anyone who have a question Okay, guys, if you don't have any question, I think I've managed to be with you. I wanted to be one hour, 30 minutes. I, I'm tired. So I will proceed in the next section. I will let you know. And secondly, I will make this av video available, but it won't be available today because I will have to check it. Maybe I might edit it a little bit so that things can be nice. And then thank you guys for being here. And then I will catch you up in the next us. Have a good day. Bye. All right. There are someone ans asking. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 There is someone um, raising a hand there. It's it's me, sir. So, uh, yes, sir. Uh, just a quick one. So you said to see us on the uh, next session. So, um, how will we know uh, when? What date? And uh, how do we know of the session? That one, I will give. I will give an announcement. Oh, we'll find it on the KMI announcement. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I will give you announcement. All right. And then you can ask any question in the group. Né? There is, I will see you guys in the next session. I have to attend something quickly. Have a good day. Bye and enjoy. Bye.